How's it going, everybody? So real quick, I'm going to show you guys one smoke on every single map for CS2. This is going to be what I consider to be the most important smoke. The one, if you only know one smoke for every single map, it's the one that will give you the most impact. But first, I want to thank today's sponsor, Skins Monkey. So, Skins Monkey is an automated CS2 trading site that provides an instant way for you to get new skins. All you have to do is select your old skins that you don't want anymore and then pick out some fresh ones to trade for. It's as easy as that. And right now you could get a free $5 if you use code TACTICS on the site. And finally, you could get up to a 35% deposit bonus when using my code. So thanks again to Skins Monkey for sponsoring this video. Links in the description. So let's jump right in. So starting off with Inferno, I would say the most important smoke that you can know is whenever you get this spawn right here, this far back one closest to the fence, if you do a W jump throw right up here at this little circular part on the left side of this double roof, you just do a simple W jump throw, that's gonna go all the way up into mid. It's gonna bank off the side wall and fully smoke off the dead center of mid, allowing you to take a ton of early space and even fight towards alt mid without the T's ever having any info up towards top mid. It is an absolutely meta smoke. You'll see it thrown almost every single round in pro play. And moving on over to overpass, I would say the most important smoke to be able to throw is the early monster smoke. So you just go right here into this trash can corner right off spawn as the CT, and you do a jump throw right at the far left hand side of this little electrical pole. It's going to go all the way down here. It's going to bank off the railroad tracks and pop right in front of monster, catching the timing to where as the T's are running out, well, they're going to be smoked off and it makes it way easier for your B players to handle those sorts of rushes. And moving on over to Nuke, I would say the most important smoke for T side that I just love throwing every single round as I'm pushing outside is I'll go right here into this corner. I'll go all the way up to where the left hand corner of this building intersects kind of with the top of this railing. So I'll go straight up to right here and I'll do a simple jump throw. And that's gonna go all the way up and it's gonna end up landing on top of Mini here and it's gonna spread down to where anyone down here in Mini, well, they have absolutely no visibility whatsoever. And if you jump down on top of Mini here, you have perfect cover from anyone back here behind uh, this gray box and credit card and you're able to way more effectively fight towards Secret and towards Red here. So it's a really good two-in-one smoke that can help you to either split out towards Heaven here or um, to jump up on top and help you fight. It just really helps break these line of sights here. It's a fantastic one to throw every single round on Nuke if you're playing outside. And now moving on over to Anubis, if you go right here into this corner, you can do a jump throw right at this little dark spot through this little window here. And that's gonna go all the way through here. It's gonna make off the side and it's going to smoke off both Palace and Long as your teammates push out. In my opinion, this is the most important smoke to be able to throw for B site because it just helps so much. You can flash over and you only have to worry about a couple of angles. It's really, really good to throw as your teammates are pushing onto site. Another way you can throw that is if you go into this corner, if you're closer up, you can just do a simple jump throw. You go up from where this guy's missing head is and just jump throw at the bottom of this little shield or half circle. It's gonna pop down and pretty much do the exact same thing. And now moving on over to Ancient. If you don't know any other smoke for this map, the best one to learn is by coming right here on the left side of this little wall and doing a jump throw at this top little triangle here. That's gonna go all the way up and it's gonna smoke off Red Room, which is super, super important to be able to throw for your team as they establish mid control. And now moving on over to Vertigo, I would say the smoke that I have thrown the most in all my time playing this map is I come right here into this corner, I'll crouch, look at the corner of this box, stand up, and just do a simple left click. The reason why this smoke is so powerful is it's going to smoke off this right side here, but if you cross on the close side of this box, right, the guy up here in connector is not going to be able to see you. As you can see, I'll place a bot here just to prove it. If you come up close on this corner, this guy absolutely has no visibility on you whatsoever, right? So you're able to come up close here and only worry about this one angle considering that you've already cleared out or mollied out these positions, right? So it's probably the best smoke to throw just on the basis that you're able to isolate this one particular fight on the left side of generator as you push up and take sight. There's absolutely no doubt that the mid window smoke is probably the most important for Mirage. It is just vital to any sort of mid control, which is just key to taking sights on this map. So if you go right here into this trash can corner, the way that I do it and the way that I see most people in pro matches do it is they'll find this top right quadrant of the door. There's this kind of square right here and right in the middle of that. And you're then going to go up in between the top of the door frame and the top of the wall frame. So you're going to go right to here and you're just going to hold D for about a second or two and then do a jump throw. You're just gonna hold D and then boom, just do a simple jump throw. I don't know how I open up the buy menu, but as you can see, that smoke's gonna go all the way in here. It's gonna pop, land in here, and fully smoke off. 
isolated window. As you can see, it goes far enough up to where if they go up here, they don't really have any sort of angle up out towards mid. Um, so it is just kind of the meta smoke to throw. I find that one to be the most consistent. I know a lot of people have trouble with that just because it's, you know, there is a little bit of variable with having to hold D for a couple of seconds or whatever. Um, if you have a better way, let me know down in the comments and maybe I'll include that in the next one. And finally, since I haven't covered her in quite a while, for Dust 2, if you go right here into this corner, like on the building, and just do a simple jump throw in the bottom left quadrant of this little window, that's going to go all the way up here. It's going to bank off this back wall and smoke off Xbox to allow your team to push up and take cat control that I have to worry about getting opt or peaked from mid. So yeah, I hope this video helps you out in your next CS2 premiere match. If you feel like I missed a couple of pieces of utility or you don't agree with my list for the most important smokes on each map, let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to talk about it and maybe include it in my next video. If you want to support me, click that Skins Monkey link down in the description. Otherwise, have a fantastic day.